Um, so in front of me today, I have this massive ship. This is the SDF Advocate. Um, it was built by QTLS2. Um, normally, I don't review other people's ships, uh, especially not other people's ships twice. This is the second time I've taken a look at one of Seals' ships. However, um, I was supposed to do this in my 1,000 subscriber stream where I was looking at other people's ships, and this thing was massive, and I figured I wouldn't do it there because I had to eat supper. So, uh, here we are, and as promised, two seals, I would review it. So, I'm here, and I brought him along. Hi. Uh, so we're just gonna go over the ship and kind of, like, show it off. Uh, where do you want to start? Yeah. Uh, we will start at the front, and then just slowly, painstakingly work our way back through all however many blocks this is. I haven't checked in a while. How many blocks is this? Uh... Okay, almost 100 blocks long, yeah. Oh, I thought you meant block count. Crazy. It's only oh, 21,000 no, block count. Only. <laughs> That's probably not even counting the a million subgrid turrets on it. Alright, uh, yeah. The front. The nose, if you will, is really simple. You ever been to um, Boston before? I have not. What relevance does this have to the nose? Uh, duck boats. I get it. Yeah, I see it now. Okay, yeah, but uh, the nose is by far the simplest part of the ship. Uh, I spent like maybe ten minutes just working out. <laughs> the, I basically made the flat bit first, and I just greebled it with like some lines. That that's it. Yep, a lot of effort for the nose, guys. Greeble what? Uh, greeble. Oh. Line. It, it used to be flat. At the very start, it was just flat because I just do I do general shapes and then I go back and make them better. Uh, the entire shape for this is basically just a upscaled version of one of my first ever ships, the uh, SDF Sentinel. It's just massively upscaled. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's where you get the sand colored top and then grayish black bottom. And the whole, like, two layered kind of looking style of it, of one layer indented below it. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of your ships have like this waterline sort of thing going on. They do. And these, I, it, it this one's works. a little more defined, but um, with like the the, the change in depth. But yeah, that's because that's just that's basically what I established as the whole style from the first ship I made with this faction. I was like, ah, well, this is the style now. So now most of them have this clear distinction of top and bottom section. Um, I guess we'll start at the top then. Uh. The top, again, well, not as simple. This is just a flight deck. Uh, I know a lot of people dislike open top carriers because way and way you don't need an, uh, a runway in space, but uh, cope. It looks cool, and also 90% of its fighter storage is on the deck, so there is a few pads, as you can see. They are all numbered. The uh, first six, I believe, are downstairs, and then the 20... The rest are up here, all the way up to 24. So you can fit 24 fighters of pretty good size on here. As for the double connector thing... Um... So, the original fighter I made for this thing... Had a, uh, silly little quirk where it had some... Fuel tanks that it could attach underneath its wings, but that made it too tall for its connector to fit. <laughs> so it had to have... A center connector and then offset connectors so that it could connect if it was carrying fuel tanks or not carrying fuel tanks. Mm. And then I ended up ditching that fighter entirely, and I was too lazy to go back and change all the connectors. I'm like, uh, it looks funny. It stays. It's, it's a quirk of the ship. Yeah, so now there's all these offset connectors, and we're just not going to question them. And then, as uh, for the internal hangar, if my game doesn't die here, you've got these really cool, like, elevator pads that yes. um, can go down These here. took several hours. The collisions in this area are so painful, and yeah, that was not fun to make. It, they are quite compact now. I think I did a fairly decent job of getting them to stay all nice. I hear pistons firing, and I'm pretty sure that's the crane downstairs. Okay. Yep. We don't talk about the yeah. crane. <laughs> We'll get there later, in like an hour. But yeah, there's just like six pads in here. 
Um, yeah, two at the back, and then four along the front. And the elevators do technically count as storage for extra fighters if you want. If you want to get a little crazy. Uh, along the sides as we work our way back, there's just some guns, some artillery turrets, which are acting as the secondary battery for this thing because we stay silly. Um, a lot of custom guns on here and mixed in like normal Gatlings. Uh, as well as, I think my favorite part on the side of the ship here is these large thrusters with the uh, panels around them. Yeah. It looks a lot better than the uh, small grid thruster, or the small thruster spam that I had used on large ships up to that point, which there is some further back, but we don't talk about that. And then on the bottom, um, more stuff we'll get to later inside, but we have these funny hangar doors, which I can't open from out here. At least not without them getting out of sync, but these are for a, a cargo bay that's inside and the crane, which is again making noises whenever I go near it. Because this ship can actually, uh, it can land in atmosphere. Uh, if you couldn't tell by the a billion up thrusters, I guess it's not really not that many compared to a combat ship, but it has a few up thrusters. And uh, it can actually lower cargo out of these bottom hangers onto the ground. And it has a boarding ramp on the bottom, which I'll pop out really quick. That was like a last second addition. It is very scuffed. But it works, so you know what, it stays. Uh, along the bottom we also have the singular mag plate. Actually there's more further back, but like it's still really funny. That's just like a tiny little mag plate for the entire ship. I couldn't, you need, bother to, like, <laughs> I couldn't be bothered to make a giant landing gear looking thing. I'm like, uh, belly land. We got fine. a couple other single mag plates over here. Yeah. Uh, back up on like the top and side. Uh, as we go further back past the hangar elevators, there's these two secondary, or not secondary, primary guns, which are just some custom artillery turrets, which also have an interior turret on top of them because they were inspired by um, actual naval guns from World War II that had their anti-aircraft armament mounted onto their big guns because never enough anti-air, I guess. Uh, these are actually the second design of turret for this ship. The original was a small grid nightmare that was like... just It was small grid, then it converted back into large grid to have artillery so that they could each have their own hinge. It was a nightmare. Um, I gave up on the gun when I found out that firing the arty just makes the hinge explode. Mm, yeah. These ones do not explode when you fire them. Most of the time. So yeah, vastly improved and simpler design. Not quite as cool, but uh, at least they work. Um, these sort of like vented thrusters on the sides pointing forward are the... Are they the no, they're not the only braking thrust on the ship, but they're the main braking thrust on the ship. Also the best yeah, and... hiding spot on the ship. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hide and seek on this thing is very silly. Um, but yeah, these are also a detail stolen directly from the Sentinel. Just upscaled. Uh, on the sides, more arty turrets because never enough arty turrets. And the bottom is very boring. It's just thrusters and some small detailing. There could definitely be more Greeble, but uh, this thing already took like a year to make. And I uploaded it like a year ago, which is kind of crazy. Back up to the top and side, um, there's the bridge with a funny spinning radar and a laser antenna and, te you know, all the things. Yep. And the uh, glass bridge, because glass bridges are very cool. I cannot be convinced otherwise. More of these, actually quite old now, secondary guns with nine barrels each. And then on, yeah, more pads and more secondary guns on the sides by the nameplate. These look closer the to anti-air guns, though. Yeah, they are really anti- I mean... Anti-space. Yeah. An well, anti that, that... anything that gets near them. <laughs> Fair enough. That's what guns do. Yeah. And then you got another one of these um, main batteries yeah. back here. Main batteries that are actually, like, not even a third of the, <laughs> of the firepower. <laughs> but we're just going to pretend that they totally are as big and strong as they look. And the SE's combat balance is not very silly. Yeah. Uh, and at the very back, all the thrusters for forward. 
It's a it's a decent engine bay. Mm, sharp edges. Mm. Sharp edges go burr. I no comment. This section took a while, and then I gave up. That goes for a lot of like the larger sections on this ship. It already took like over a year to make. Actually, it was like nine months, but who's counting? Um, yeah, I All think right. that's the entire exterior. Uh, how about we go in, and uh, where should we start from? We should start from, ah, uh, that's a good question. Where do we begin the nightmare? I think we go behind turret number three. We're going the back entrance. That'll be fun. Yeah, here is the back entrance to the conning tower bridge area. Uh, very basic plant window vent before we had the floor vents. So you had to put catwalks over them. And also, it's not symmetrical. Don't worry about that. Oh, Anyways, I didn't notice that. <laughs> no. Vent on one side, no vent on the other side. Ah. Uh. Slightly cursed. Uh, Drop down this ladder, but not... Uh, no, this is... Light. Yeah, you can drop down this ladder. Short hallway. This is the ladder you don't want to drop all the way down because uh, you will fall very far. Yeah, it's a little, a little way down. I keep pushing you. Yeah. Yeah. If we go down just one layer... And then immediately go back up another layer because this thing's internals are cursed. I, I've commented on that many times at this <laughs> point, but you did not seem to understand. We have a very squished uh, image of the Advocate here. Yeah. On this LCD. Uh, one image of its attack aircraft. Is this a super trout? Yeah. Yep. Which is just the trout with actually good looking wings. This is the main airlock, technically. Why we didn't go in through here? Uh, I didn't want to, so. Two interior turrets, some lockers, and doors to either side. And we just vented the entire ship. Deserved, honestly. <laughs> Anyways, going up again, because more cursed. This is the, uh... Kind of, like, intermediate room to the flight bridge, and these airlocks, which are emergency airlocks, to the, uh, platforms outside, which are locked. Because it's cool, I don't know. This is the, uh, the flight bridge. It's exposed, and all these seats are... You just disappeared on my screen for a second. Mm. Yeah. You just disappeared on my screen for a second. Um. Yeah. So, main seat is the flight seat. Um, I'm trying to remember what these all are. <laughs> I think this one is... Yeah, that, that controls, like, the elevators and whatnot. And this one is guns, yeah. So. It's a very cool... Um... A very cool view out of the front of here. The view it's is very pretty, imposing. pretty good. Alright. Yeah, that, that is what the bridge is for anyway, because what we'll get to in a moment is where you would actually fly the ship if you wanted any so sort of practicality out of this thing, which, um, why? What is wrong with you if you want this to be right. practical? Anyways, fall fall down the to the CIC. Oh. Yeah. Oh, we're fall. going there already. Um. Yeah, because it's the best place to go. There's the emergency med bay. We're gonna... Yeah. It's... Yeah. I didn't put stuff on those LCDs. I regret that. But, yeah. Emergency med bay, because uh, the walk to the med bay from the CIC is quite far. And if someone in the CIC got injured, you do not want to <laughs> have to, like, drag them up four ladders to get to the med bay. Honestly, Here's this is the funny CIC. best, like, rebuild and best-looking room in this ship, I think. With, like, the mag plates on the wall, which is really cool. And the use of, like, all the armor panels. Around the it side. does go kind of hard for no reason because it's like the only time I've had a CIC where I have actual room to do something crazy. Yeah. I should take that back. I have the whole at command room. It's like twice as big as this on the Actium, but that's old as hell, so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, duplicate controls from up top on these seats, by the way, and you can just switch which one's the main cockpit to control from either one, so that's pretty cool. Um, we're going to ignore those side doors for now. Okay. And just go back up this ladder. Because those are more routes that I added later into here. We'll come down them eventually, probably. So if we go back up the ladder, and are we okay, going... I went too far. Yeah, we're going, yeah, going forward. Yep. Um, right here, some higher ranking officers' quarters. They have a wood table and two beds. Only two guys to a room. Oh, I think this is just yeah, another another officers' quarters sort of. If you are you're cool enough, you get the nice beds. Here's the med bay, and this is why I said we have an emergency med bay, because, uh... Imagine dragging some wounded dude's ass up those ladders. <laughs> just to get him up here. Yeah, nothing too fancy. 
Uh, left and right are identical, so we'll just go left. Um, this is CIC access. Don't jump down the ladder. It goes exactly where you think it goes. It goes to those side doors we saw before? Yeah. Uh, and then on this side, we have the dumbest room in the entire ship, because I had room and I didn't know what to do. So this is ah, the yes. shell room, with the locked door that if you open and go in, fake shells. They're supposed to be artillery shells. I tried. It does technically spin. Hang on, can you go back in there for a second? I'm good, no. No, uh, uh, I know. Uh. I, no, I know what you're trying to do. <laughs> uh, a million CTCs, which aren't even used. And that's an airlock that goes outside, but it, yeah. Yeah. Cursed old vents. Um, if we run down to the other end really quick, this isn't symmetrical, I lied. Because this one, we will jump down because it has a little room. That, that's oh. it. It's... I don't think I noticed yeah. this. I always go in instinctively from the uh, oh, the port I side of hid, ships. I hid here one so time in hide and seek. I was sitting on one of these tables for like half an hour. It was pretty good. Because I figured no one would know this room exists because it's just kind of pointless. Yeah, it is. It's just parallel access. Oh, that's the same and that's the same. All right. And then straight forward and down another ladder where you need to break yourself early or else you'll do what I did and fall straight down uh, this is the cafeteria quite shrimple indeed it's just got some wood some you can serve some food I guess vending machine uh, armory this is it, yeah lockers that's it just a ton of lockers just a ton of lockers and this is the hangar the hangar airlock, which I'm gonna try to use correctly. Okay. I spent way too long on these timer buttons, but... Nobody ever uses them? Well, it forces you to use them because it turns off the doors and then shuts it on your head like that. Okay. So yeah. I guess this is where we were before with, like, the... the landing pads here. Yeah. This is the hangar where you can operate the elevators from down here or on the elevators themselves. And then... And you've... Yes. There's a random... The bypass. The, yeah, the bypass. In case both elevators are up, you can just walk through there. Into these little hangar bays type things. The cargo then, bay access um, and then the emergency airlock. And to my knowledge, yeah. these just go these outside. Just go inside, even though there's we're nothing... also an excellent hiding spot. Yeah. Unless somebody just knows about them. Yeah. This isn't airtight, is it? No, this hangar is not airtight. So this is it's a useless airlock. Uh, kinda, yeah. Um, and then, as and shown before, we have these, um, low, the lower with, cargo access area. With the cranes of clang, which, they're really not that clangy. I don't know why they're making so much noise. I don't think they like you. They're absolutely killing my game right now. They're, my you screen's gotta, you gotta move a lot. Them. They're so much fun to move. I, I wouldn't do that. I'm not, you shouldn't do that. Oh, oh wait, our script's disabled. Um, I'm not sure. I think I loaded this oh, world on default, so I guess there's no scripts. Yeah, there's no scripts, so uh, the elevators aren't moving. In fact, that may be why they're clanging. <laughs> um, I guess randomly in the floor here, uh, tripping hazard, we got yes. the ramp. Seethe. This is the uh, ramp we saw earlier outside. With the most terrible series of winding airlock hallways, to get to it. Yeah. Yeah, and you can pull the ramp up here. But yeah, you're welcome. All right, now we have some fancy rooms. We'll go in this one first. This is the, oh, the yeah, briefing this room. room. With all the bench seats that I fully did not steal the idea from someone else. I would uh, never. Uh, uh, let me guess, let me guess, Indy? No. No? Okay, the piston elevators are very angry right now. I no, can't hear them. I stole it from inverted. Inverted. Except my ah, entire, it's made of wood. Yeah. And then Briefing on this room. other side, we have... I don't know. Computer room? It, uh, it's supposed to be like air traffic control. Air traffic control. I think control. some of the scripts are missing. Yeah, there used to be a radar on the ceiling. Ah, yes. But well, sorry about there. that. Big want want right there. Another um, long corridor. This one needs some yes. scribble. I believe the walls are part of something else, but I don't uh, know. 
We just got a hot minute. What what is this even? This is the bathroom. This, this is, is the, like the, uh, the shower locker room, shower room area. Yeah. Yeah, all we just got and showers. showers. And then bathrooms on the other side. Oh wait, they're all showers and bathrooms. They're, they're all showers and bathrooms. I don't remember what I did. This ship is very old now. Um, uh, anyways. I believe these are crew quarters, Bronx. right? Yep. Yeah. Um, and um, then we yeah. got uh, Luna Tricky's hiding spot up in here. Oh yeah. Yeah. The uh, the which series of like five different bunk rooms is he hiding in? I don't know, cause there's like six of them in this hallway. <laughs> Hide and seek on this is extremely funny. It's extremely cursed as well. Yeah. Um, where, um all oh, six of these doors here. This one. Uh, pretty these much the same thing. Yeah, they're identical. Yeah. It's the exact same um, thing. Um, this is yeah. where we were. Um, if yeah, we go, you can up go back here, up there. uh, it's the, um, mess hall again. Yep, if you fall down. Now we can go back to more CIC access, because you know what you need? You need more of that. Which, this one goes through the floor. Oh, I didn't even realize this e existed. Where are we? Yeah, next to the other Oh, one, this the is other... the, we're in the yep. other CIC access thing, yeah. So it's yep. a very windy down here. It is indeed. It's got, like, three main hallways, and then tons of corridors lining between them. And then, if this I believe, is this is quarters. the last room in the ship, right? Uh, unless we missed something, yeah, it should be. We completed a full loop. See expert navigation. Oh, yeah, this is the captain's quarters. Pretty fancy, because, you know, it's the captain. He's got a little meeting room if he needs to. But yep. Yeah, with that, that, that is the full loop. Interesting of the, use of, like, these... Here. Interesting use of, like, these, uh, whatever you call them. The bars, the handrails, I don't know. How the hell would I know? I'll see if I can find them. Railing straights. Not railing gaze, railing straights. Uh, Take it out of context, that's gonna sound really bad. <laughs> yeah. uh, anyways, moving on. Um... Yeah, uh, that is that is the ship TM. We could throw it into a planet if you want, but I don't know if that'll kill your PC. Oh, it definitely will. So we're not going to do that. But but I'll put the That's link in the description so you can go get it, and then you can throw it into a planet yourself. Maybe put on the deadly reentry mod. I think that would be very cool. Uh, just make sure I, you have uh, a great way to make uh, a 4090 and the latest Intel processor and uh, cooling that's better than my computer. So. Yeah. Uh, is there anything you want to say? Um. Don't don't chuck it at the planet, please, unless you use the parachutes. This thing can sustain about 0.5 meters of acceleration in an atmosphere. It barely flies. Well, it flies. Can it leave a planet though? Yeah. Yeah. You just have to your atmo thrusters hold space the whole way up and pray. And W as well. You would want to point it at like an angle, right? Uh, theoretically, you should be able to just chuck it straight up, and it'll it'll pass the mark of like where it can't fly, just coasting on enough velocity. Hopefully. Well, yeah, this has been the uh, SDF advocate. It's pretty old, um, and it's also really big given that we've been going for nearly 24 minutes non-stop now, um, which is making this, like, probably easy. the longest video on my channel. So, yeah. Uh, it's just I, don't, I don't think there's anything else to say. Um, how about... All right, I don't know how I'm supposed to set this off. There's got a... Nope, there's not a button. Hang on, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Um, warhead? Oh, right, uh, right, 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 uh, right. Let's see what happens. Uh, what is it, what is it? Um, yeah, throw out on. Alright. Warhead, arm warhead. Uh oh. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think your PC liked that. Well, um, did a lot less damage than I thought it would. Anyways, yeah, that's been the video. <laughs> See you. Bye.